Okay, check this out. This is a CD that I've had for a very long time. This is Elvis 30 number one hits. Yeah, it's got Heartbreak Hotel, Don't Be Cruel, Hound Dog. Oh God, Hound Dog. I did a cover of that song in college. I was just messing around one day. I'll put a link to it in the description if you want to hear it. It's not the best thing ever, but in any case, let's talk about some Elvis. Aww. <laughs> Elvis. So Elvis is the newest biopic about a famous singer from back in the day. We've had Freddie Mercury, we've had Elton John, we've had Aretha Franklin, now we have hit Elvis Presley. And this movie tells the story of his life, from when he was a kid up until his untimely death when he was in his early 40s. His relationship with his manager, Colonel Tom Parker, played by Tom Hanks, that's a big part of the movie. And really, the story is told from the manager's point of view. He narrates the whole thing, and so here we go. And what can I say, this movie was pretty cool. Austin Butler as Elvis Presley was pretty damn amazing. He certainly did capture the presence that Elvis Presley gave to the world when he was starting off in the 50s. This is something like when you think of Elvis Presley, you don't necessarily think of his music first, or at least I don't. The first thing that comes into my head when I hear the name Elvis Presley was the way he moved on stage. He brought a raunchiness, like Elvis was all about being sexy, that was his whole image. Making the girls go nuts. And that's what we see in this movie. One of the very first scenes Elvis is in is that scene we saw in the trailer. And I was laughing because it was just, it was so accurate, that's what was happening. The same thing would happen later on in the 60s with Beatlemania. And of course, there were some older people out there who were like, oh, he's, he's taunting them with his devilish charm. He belongs in jail. And I was like, in what world does someone belong in jail just for dancing on stage? Because really, that's all he's doing. He's singing and performing. This movie teaches you the story behind why he moved the way he did, what music he grew up with, you know, what inspired him to sing the music he did, all that cool stuff. The man behind the legend. And Austin Butler really sold it, especially in his voice. He had that thick southern accent. It has everything to do with us. That's just the way he talked and sang. I'm feeling so lonely, baby. Yeah, the sexiness came through even in his voice, the way he dictated his words. It was all part of it. And then there's Tom Hanks. Again, Tom Hanks plays Elvis's manager, Colonel Tom Parker. And I thought he was just as good as Austin Butler was, honestly. Because he had an accent too. It was a weird, different kind of accent than I've heard. I wish to promote you, Mr. Presley. And you can tell, you know, at first he offers a deal that is mutually beneficial for both of them. But then eventually it starts working more in his favor. Red flags start going up and you're like, okay, Elvis, maybe you should get out of this. And like I said, the story is told from the manager's point of view. So much so that at some points I even felt like he kind of took the focus away from Elvis Presley himself. Like maybe the movie should have been called Elvis and the Colonel or something. For a movie called Elvis, you would think it would focus solely on Elvis Presley. He would be the main character, and he is, for the most part. I'm not saying this is a good or bad thing, I'm just letting you know. And eventually, throughout Elvis's life, he ends up meeting the woman he would later marry, Priscilla. Priscilla Presley, played here by Olivia DeJonge, I think that's how you say it. And she was really good too. A couple of times you do get her perspective on the matter. Elvis is going off the rails. You see how that's affecting her. That was really well pulled off. Now, this movie is two hours and 40 minutes long. And I was ready for that. I was like, all right, let's watch a movie about Elvis Presley. I'm down for that. But folks, you need to take one really big thing into account. And that is the fact that this movie is directed by Baz Luhrmann. If you remember that Great Gatsby movie that came out a while back, he directed that movie and this Elvis movie does feel a lot like that. It's really frenetic, hyperactive, flamboyant. I mean, Elvis did have some crazy outfits in his day. But also just the way this movie is stylistically edited. It starts out with a montage and I was like, all right, I'm enjoying this. And then like five minutes later, I was like, the montage is still going. And then 10 minutes after that, I was like, is this just how the movie's gonna be? In a way, it kind of felt like one big two hour and 40 minute montage. It didn't really tell the story like a cohesive narrative. It just kind of goes through the motions. You see things happen. I mean, we do have scenes, you know, there is dialogue between the characters or characters, real people. But I'll just say this movie has more montages than I think I've ever seen in a movie. And maybe that's just Baz Luhrmann's style coming through. I don't know, but it did pull me out of it at a couple of points. I was like, all right, can we get to like a scene please with dialogue? And then it finally got to one and I was like, geez, thanks. Another one of my fears going into this movie was the music. Yeah, that's the soundtrack. Cause this being a Baz Luhrmann movie, I was like, is this going to be Elvis music or is it gonna be like hip hop remixes of Elvis music that I'm pretty sure no one wants to hear. Sure enough, yeah, that's what it was. It was weird hip hop remixes of Elvis music. And uh, yeah, it was strange. And I get that it was to illustrate how revolutionary Elvis was for his time. But to that I say, okay, well you could just illustrate that by having Elvis play the music that he played back then. Cause that's what it was, you know? 
But then in some cases I was like, this strangely works for the vibe of the movie. I don't know, I'm feeling it for some reason. Everything just kind of came together in its own obscure kind of way. The imagery, the music, the acting, the editing, and it gave us a pretty damn entertaining Elvis movie. So yeah, in the end, Elvis was pretty good. It's not gonna be my favorite movie of the year, but it's definitely worth checking out. The acting is amazing all around. The set design, yeah, you really do feel like you are back in Vegas in the 50s and 60s, or wherever Elvis happens to be at the time, Memphis. You latch on to Elvis as a human being, you feel sorry for him when he's at his low lows, and you're like, yeah, that colonel is just not the best guy ever. And the music is fun, if not weird. For Elvis, I will say, I Go see this movie while it's in theaters. I'll tell you this, the very first time I ever heard of Elvis Presley in my life was from Lilo and Stitch. Hey, come on, I was a kid, it was like 2002. I'd never heard of Elvis before then, but it got me hooked. So Elvis, have you seen it yet? What do you think about it? Do you have a favorite Elvis Presley song? If so, what is it? Whatever you think, go ahead and leave a comment. And of course, thank you for subscribing. Peace.